No, I'm not peeking. I'm not a peeking Tom. I'm not a peeking person. Peeping. Peeping. peeping person. I'm not a peeing peeping person. Peeing peeping person. <laughs> When you're in the bathroom and you look through that little crack at someone while they're pooping. <laughs> you don't mean to. You're just seeing if the stall is empty. And then you make eye contact for that <laughs> brief a second. Yeah, it's the most awkward. Of you're it. just like, I'm just seeing if the stall's open without bending half in, in half and looking for your feet. Greetings, everyone. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James. With me as always, Caleb. Uh, good morning, everybody. Now, Caleb, uh, as far as my segues go, <clears throat> what is the weirdest thing you've ever come home to? Hmm, the weirdest thing I've ever come home to. If you say to, an affair, it's going to be weird. Um, probably my children dressed as uh, robots in cardboard <laughs> boxes bouncing <laughs> off the walls. It'd probably be one of the strangest, strangest things okay, to come so home that, to. That's, but that still like makes sense. Yeah. And technically, the, the, I have two, well, one, uh, it, which was I came home and my wife met me by the door and said, there's a... There's a bird upstairs. <laughs> it's flying around. There's a bird. Well, She's like, it's huge. It's flying around. And I get scared because I went up there to get notebook paper or something. And it flipped. It flew through, it flew through my hair. And yeah, it flew through my it hair. Flew, flew. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just calmly went upstairs and opened the window and <clears throat> shooed the bird out. Mm-hmm. Ushered bird. the bird out of my house. Please get out. <laughs> this is no longer <clears throat> your domain. Well... This this obviously wins. <clears throat> Sheepdog puppy led a flock of sheep into his owner's home. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine coming home to find a flock of sheep in your kitchen. <laughs> that is what happened to Farmer Edwards. <laughs> her her overzealous <clears throat> her overzealous sheepdog puppy Rocky guided a flock of sheep from their pen right into their kitchen. <laughs> The seven-month-old border collie took advantage of an open gate to lead nine sheep directly through the back door of this owner's home. Mrs. Edwards said, It was funny at the time, but then (laughs) there was quite a bit of wee and poo and mud everywhere. (laughs) She posted a video by... (laughs) Filmed by her children to Facebook showing the sheep in the kitchen (laughs) of the small... (laughs) of the small holding in Denvin. Oh, my. I don't know what Devin is. She said it was in the kitchen. We heard <clears throat> I was in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so they didn't come home. That's disappointing. I was in the kitchen and heard a noise and turned around and <laughs> the sheep were just standing there. <laughs> there were about nine of them. I took the children to the other room and then tried to guide the sheep out. <laughs> they went right around fr- uh, they went right around from the kitchen to the left again through the porch. <clears throat> Mrs. Ezard said mm-hmm. that the flock took a good look around the house before finally leaving at the front of the house. <laughs> so they went the, from the kitchen all the way through the house to the front door. <laughs> that's what I understood. Despite the mess, she said it was funny, in part because of the eager little dog sheep, sheep dog's efforts. Rocky did quite look pleased. Yeah, Rocky did li- look quite pleased with himself, but he's going to need more training. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a new meaning to bringing the sheep home. Oh, gosh. Now, see, where I originally saw this, <clears throat> it said, it was like, the best part is, it wasn't even their sheep. <laughs> That's where I, so I was oh, assuming goodness. that they didn't even, they weren't even sheep herders, and they just, this dog went around the countryside and collecting, picking, sheep. collecting sheep and then brought them home. <laughs> Look <laughs> what mu- I brought you. <laughs> We're having mutton chops tonight, honey. <laughs> He just turned around. There's a sheep in my house. You come home with your grocery bags. <laughs> what the f- Get assaulted by animals as you walk into the room. Oh, I can't imagine all the pee and poo and. Excuse me, we and poo. We, we and poo. Did you have a we? I saw a video recently. It was a, a doctor. It was a, a British doctor asking something about. Did you have a did you have a good wee or something, or do you have a did you have a wee? I don't know. She was asking a patient, a young boy, like if he had to go to the bathroom, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he said, "No, I have an Xbox." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
I believe that's a uh, kidney stone, son. <laughs> if you can't have a Wii and you have an Xbox. No, that was a horrible joke. Anyways, kill. Save me. Okay, we're going. <laughs> so I'm not much of a golfer, uh, but recently I saw an article that um, around Ohio, <clears throat> they've come out with a different style of golf cart. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We're all excited. and Because... See, we come from a small That's what town I was gonna say. where we drive golf carts around to go visit the neighbors. Or lawnmowers, if you can't afford a golf <laughs> cart. Yes, a couple of the old guys. I don't... <clears throat> it always cracked me up. They would drive from the far, far north side of town to the far, far south side of town to fill up on gas and then drive back. Yep. I'm like, use date. A ton of gas to do that. Yep, so... I. <laughs> So yes, we we've had. I mean, could we you drew, imagine? We grew up in a not Hicksville, the town, <laughs> but it should have been called Hicksville. Just two point just north of Hicksville. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, just goodness. north of Hicksville. just north of Hicksville. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Norwalk, Ohio. An Ohio golf course has added a new fleet of golf courses. <coughs> golf courses. Golf carts. A new fleet of golf carts. A fleet of golf courses. That Only. would be expensive. <laughs> hey, we got into some money. Half a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, probably more than that. Golf courses are very expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eagle Creek Golf Club, a public course, a public course in Northwalk, Ohio, has added several new Finn scooters. To take on the course. They are single ride electric golf carts that look like motorbikes. Golf car, uh, golfers, as set, <laughs> golfers set their clubs between the handlebars and straddle the golf bag as they ride. They, and I've actually seen pictures of these things. They look amazing. It this, looks, sounds terrifying. <clears throat> and they really not. It just looks like a scooter. Uh, the scooters are rather new to the golfing world, appearing for the first time on the golf course in 2019. There's only a limited number of the Finn scooters available right now. However, yeah. the officials in, Ingle, in Eagle Creek Pro Shop urge those who want to ride to make a reservation. And, yeah, okay, uh, these do look kind of fun. I, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not a Finn golfer. Cycle. I'm not a golfer. But I really want to go just... Drive just to drive in. them around. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you think about it in our, our small little town and Evans, Evans something. Anyways. Anyways. In our uh, small little be, town north of Hicksville. Yeah, uh, north of Hicksville. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be fun to ride those around and just go meet people and have yeah. a golf cart? <laughs> yeah, you want to go hit a well, few, hear a few here's balls? How, here's how much we use our golf carts. Um, every, I believe, 4th of July or... Oh, crap. It, <laughs> It's stuck! <laughs> it's a magic coaster. Every 4th of July, they do a poker run, which I still don't really understand. <clears throat> but it, it, you have to drive your golf cart around uh, through the entire town. <laughs> to different stops. To different stops. And then you, you get... I don't understand it, but... It, you don't understand how it works? I guess I've never cared to understand. Okay, so basically this is where you, you, there's five locations, and you stop at each location, you get a card, and that's your hand. And whoever has the best hand wins. Oh, so it's completely by chance. Anyways. It's, exa- it's, it's just a... It's a drinking driving. It's a drinking and <laughs> golf cart driving. That's all it is. I heard... I used to work at the gas station, and I think they said we sold over 3,000 uh, 24 packs of beer a year. And there's only about 250 people in town. Yeah, that's pretty much the reason that convenience store has stayed open is because of the beer. beer. The beer. The pizza's not bad. Well, it used to be. I don't know how it is now. I haven't, I haven't tried it in a while. while. We, should, we should get a 24-inch. A, a <laughs> Order yourself a giant pizza. I could do that for Saturday. There Anyways, you go. Um, so, yeah, golf carts are just a way of life. North of Hicksville. North of Hicksville. <laughs> Uh, the north of Hicksville. That's it. That's gonna be our new T-shirt. North. We're just north of Hicksville. Just north of Hicksville. <laughs> oh goodness. 
Now, I haven't had to deal with this too much yet, and uh, thankfully I have an alley behind my house. But have you ever had kids like run through your yard? Like, no, you have a fence. They have a fence. If they ran through my yard, yes, I would be quite You'd concerned. You'd be like, excuse me, <laughs> um, sir. I, I get mad at the squirrels and the rabbits. Like, how did you get in here? <laughs> well, maybe this is the, the cure for you. A Virginian man said he was fed up with children trespassing on his property. Why are there cops behind him? So he installed an electric fence to keep oh. him away. <laughs> Brian Tucker's house is just feet away from a bus stop. Oh, God. I'm sorry to cough directly on you. After he installed, he's just... He's really close to the bus stop, so people just run across his yard all the time. Yeah. After he installed the electric fence, some neighbors <laughs> called the police saying Tucker did not put up a warning sign <laughs> for potential safety hazard <laughs> alarmed by the parents. <laughs> Me? I'm a parent, and I don't want any children to get electrocuted, said, said neighbor uh, Wayne Milby. It's insane, said another parent who just asked to be remain anonymous. <laughs> right now. Tucker I'm told, anonymous. Tucker told the news he installed the fence because he grew tired of kids throwing trash and walking on his lawn. I'm not in charge of other people's children. I don't know why I'm making him sound sane. <laughs> I'm not in charge of other people's children, he said. <laughs> All I can do is protect myself. That's why I got the fence up. At least he's not shooting them with like paintball guns or something. Oh my gosh, that'd be way better. All right, if you let my property, I'm lighting you up. Do you get in my lawn? (laughs) (laughs) He has the double triggers. (laughs) County officials later asked... Slow motion cameras everywhere. Watching the children. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, County officials later asked Tucker to take down the fence because it was on an easement. I don't know what that is. Making it illegal. He is allowed to reinstall it if he keeps the fence on his property line. Oh, he just went a little too broad with the fence. (laughs) Oh, uh, but uh, and now I'm getting ads for lights because Olivia has been looking for those. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I was like, wait, what? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, that sounds like something I want to do. Uh, I remember working at a horse farm and uh, we would put out the new babies. I should say colts. The new colts with their moms. <laughs> and, uh, and we'd send them out and we'd be like, okay. They got to learn the new fence, and so they, we had a trough right by the fence. And so this, <laughs> this one time, this colt walks right up to it and gets a drink of water and is like, hey, what's this line? And touches it with its nose. <laughs> and you could hear the spark. <laughs> <laughs> and it rears back and is like, Wah! I'm like, just totally freaks out. And then like goes <laughs> running off. It was, it was, it was pretty amazing. <clears throat> I shouldn't say amazing. It was sad for him. I, the best thing but he learned. The best thing about I think it's so funny seeing horses and and cattle in like the tiniest little fence because you don't you just need a little electric line. And they go, ooh, I don't like that. No. I'll just stay away from that. That hurt. <laughs> Did you see the cow that can open? It like grabs you know because there's a handle. Well, the cows learn to grab that handle and whip its head and dis dis, dis- tangle it so they can get out. <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I loved that job working with the horses. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, uh, it was Clydesdales. So big, giant draft horses. Uh, one of Weird. my favorite things to do was to go out into the pasture and they would come visit you because they were super friendly. And there was about 15 of them out on the field and you could literally feel the ground under your feet shake because they would trot and they would trot toward we, you and oh, you could okay. feel them coming. Um, it was like the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Yeah, I could only, could you imagine, if you can feel those draft horses, what it would be like for a, like, a two-ton, ele- like, an elephant coming at you. Like, if it was angry and was running, could you imagine how frightening that would be? Now, well, for first off, it's like, what, 15 feet tall? hmm And it also, you can probably feel the ground <clears> shake <throat> when they're running. Because I know they're very soft when they're just walking. Yeah. But, Yeah. <laughs> and we both go, okay, now what are we doing? Oh, no, I'm looking up how much an adult elephant weighs. Uh, I think it's, I don't know. I don't think you're too far off. I know it's several. How much seven. dies? <laughs> how much dies an elephant adult? Oh, much more than you said. 
No, it can be anywhere. It can be <clears throat> adult males weighing 1,800... Oh, wait, this is kilograms. <laughs> What's a kilogram? I don't even know what a kilogram is. Anyways, they can weigh up uh, to four tons. Oh. <laughs> 18,000 8, 18, pounds. 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Six to eight thousand pounds. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Yes, Speaking that is of, why you don't want them to sit on you. Yes, <laughs> one of the many reasons. Speaking of uh, large uh, animals, uh, police in Kentucky said a buffalo that escaped from its owner's property managed to elude capture overnight. The Lexington <laughs> Police Department said a call came in at about six twenty p.m. Tuesday. From a resident who said a loose buffalo had broken through their fence. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know what. Uh, do, <laughs> it, huh? Is uh, that really what you call the cops about? I guess yeah. yeah. Who would you call? Animal control. Oh, just wait. Oh no! Police department <laughs> <laughs> determined that the animal had escaped from a neighbor's property. Uh, Lieutenant Larry said the police <laughs> contract. It had his last name too, but it just I just wanted to call him Lieutenant Larry. This is Lieutenant Larry. <laughs> this is Lieutenant Larry calling in. <laughs> Why is it funny? I, because it's just one of those names. It's it's like a Steve or a Bob. It's I'm just, Lieutenant Bob. Lieutenant Bob or Lieutenant Steve. Steve. It's a very white generic name. It's white. like James and Caleb. Yeah, it's just like James and Caleb. They're very white names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think of it, but yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Larry said police contacted animal care and control, oh, no. but were told the animal was too large for the department <laughs> to handle. Hey guys, we got a, uh, we got an animal on the loose. Oh, what you got? Uh, we got a buffalo. <coughs> what do you call after that? The zoo? Cause the zoo would have prepare. It would have great things to take care of an animal <laughs> that big. They've got that one guy on staff who's been waiting for this opportunity for years. It's like the Rambo of hey, Bill Bolly Joe. Bobby, Bill, Bobby, Joe, it's your time to shine. It's like the, uh, um, oh shoot, Madagascar three, the crazy lady, oh, right? The oh, hun- right. <laughs> He's like that guy. She's nuts. The nut. I've been waiting for this opportunity for years. I don't know why. I hate that I care this much about a kids movie, but I like couldn't get into Madagascar three because it was too far fetched. <laughs> that that's no the- talking animals. That's fine. Them driving, listening to rock music, that's just wrong. Joining the circus and doing, you know, backflips and stuff off of skyscrapers? No. <laughs> that's just not allowed. I think that's the whole point is to just kind of blow your mind like, okay, this is just supposed to be funny. Cause she's like, cause they're like, she's like breaking through brick walls and stuff, chasing them down. Which, oh my gosh, that's just a silly movie. Uh, just I haven't a, seen it forever. You should watch it again. It gets better. Like the more you watch it, the better it I gets. Bet it gets better with booze. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would get really weird <laughs> and creepy <laughs> with alcohol. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, Larry said the Buffalo eluded police Excuse Tuesday me. night. Lieutenant Larry. I'm sorry. Lieutenant Larry. <laughs> Alluded. <laughs> that was the it's, very... It's just like a, like a, a car with legs walking through everything. <laughs> First off, but wait, how does it elude them? <clears throat> elude. God oh, darn it, that buffalo eluded us. I'm so confused. Anyways. Sounds like something you should get a ticket for. <laughs> Being lewd. Being a, a lewd. Uh... Tuesday night, and search was called off at 7.45 p.m. I assume they got it. Maybe they didn't. Wait, that's it? Yep. That's the end of the story? It's the end of the story. Wait, it says read more. Hey, hey, look, there's a read more button. I should click that. Nope. Doesn't do anything. What if I keep scrolling? No, that's I was talking about back pain. Ads. Ads. That's the end of the story, folks. We will never know what happened to the buffalo. So the search was called off at 7.45 for a buffalo. It is... Some say some say it's still walking around. Some Kentucky. say in Lexington, Kentucky, you can spot the buffalo. <sighs> See, I, the buffalo. I I don't understand. I mean, I guess I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why someone owns a buffalo. I mean, I guess it's like a cattle farm. Yeah, because the be the meat from buffalo, buffalo burgers are very good. Is is very it's expensive, so you can sell it for a lot. 
But you also have to think you're trying to contain basically a rhinoceros. Is <laughs> basically what you I have. What rhinoceros meat tastes like? This is why humans are horrible. <laughs> what does that taste <laughs> like? Because <laughs> they. Uh, you know, I wonder what that mean. Oh, that meat tastes terrible. So you you know the Swiss Family Robinson? I think so. Uh, it used it was a uh, Walt Disney. They lived in a treehouse. It was really epic. Um, they fought off pirates. I don't think I've seen it. You don't think you've don't ever think seen, seen the Swiss it. Family Robinsons? No. It's one of the like classics. It's really, really good. I've seen Meet the Robinsons. That's it's completely also different movie. a classic, but in a totally <laughs> different way. There's no comparison between these. It was movies. the Swiss Family Robinsons. Anyways, so I decided to read the original book, mm-hmm. uh, the Swiss Family Robinsons, which was really good. I liked it a lot. They actually have an extra son. That is not in the movie. His name is Jack. He's awesome. Anyways, I love it when they do that. So in the book, uh, they basically massacre everything. <laughs> if it moves, they shoot it and then they eat it. It's yeah, the, this does look like fun. That's yeah. I mean, that sounds about right. Well, I mean, they're on a deserted island. Yeah, and so they have to survive. But yeah, they liter- they like shoot monkey and they eat monkey and they like if it moves, it it gets shot. So they're like. <laughs> No, what you got to do is you got to do what you do in Minecraft. You collect a bunch of them, and then you breed them, and then you go around, you murder all of them but two of them, and then don't think you start the cycle over again. I don't think that's how it works in the real world. Yes, it does. You give them hay so they get excited and make babies. And you make it. And you make it, and then you give the babies hay so they grow up to be adults, and then you crossbreed them. What? And then you can give your sheep different colored inks. And then if they breed, they make different colored babies. (laughs) Uh, You should do. And then you keep adding to the pen until it's overflowing and it's almost indistinguishable between each sheep. And And then then you you shear them arm and go make yourself some rugs. Then you shear them and then you pull out your sword and you kill all of them but two. (laughs) And you start. The cycle again. It's time the cycle again. That goes for pigs, cattle, and sheep. And you repeat this cycle. And then you have four, whatever the special ovens are. And then you put all of your meat in the ovens until it's cooked. James's three minute rant on Minecraft. Minecraft. It can sound terrible. <laughs> Oh, we should do a real facts on <laughs> Minecraft. True facts about <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> that would actually be really fun. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe we should do that. True facts about Minecraft. Eh, my voice isn't as cool as his, though. No, it, well, you have to you have to tweak it. True facts True about f- Minecraft. True facts about Minecraft. So you gotta open it up and sound really weird. <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly. But that's what I'm doing. You're doing a Sean Connery. I'm doing a Sean Connery. <laughs> A second, I'll start. <laughs> oh no, the alien is attacking. All right, well, we have now gotten to the horrible impression part of the podcast. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. For James and Caleb to start rambling. <laughs> we, we, we're like, oh no, we're out of material. <laughs> um, Make something up. <laughs> Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram for updates on what we're what's going on when I choose to update that. Yep. You can listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Um, be sure to like this video and share it with your friends and just spread it like a disease. Um, if you if, if you spread go, it like the Corona, <laughs> if you go on iTunes, rate us five stars and leave a review. I will PayPal you a dollar. You have to send it to me on Instagram or uh, Facebook and show me the review that it was you and I will PayPal you a dollar. Um, if you have a topic that you want us to cover, a green screen background idea, or if you have any idea, if you want to be on the podcast because you think you're interesting, you can email us at morning eggnog, morning eggnog, morning eggnog at gmail.com or message us on Facebook or Instagram. There you go. So thank you so much for joining us and have a wonderful morning, noon, or night. See ya. Put your pants back on. Pants are on. I wear black. Black is the new red. Hey. Hey. Hey, like, like, pu- hey, you. You watching the video? Push like button. Push that like button. Push it's it. right. I think it's there. Push it. If you're watching the video, push like, push it right now. Before the podcast starts, push the like button.